In this video, we're going to learn the Sabatier effect. This is a modern version of an old effect. Sabatier was a French photographer, and therefore I may be not pronouncing his name correctly, but he was a French photographer who in 1862 accidentally turned on the light while developing film and got some strange and unpredictable effects. Lots of people have experimented with the effect and one variation of it is called solarization. Now both Photoshop and Photoshop Elements have a solarization filter but we're going to do it differently by using the difference blend mode. Now let's take a look at what uh, some possibilities are so you have a little bit of an idea of where we're going. This is a little inlet waterway along the Andrusco Andruscoggin River in New Hampshire with the Sabatier effect applied. Rather colorful I think you would agree even if the, the effect is not to your taste. A local icon is the Blaine United Methodist Church that right on the inlet and here we see the sanctuary with the Sabatier effect applied. If you don't like color, it's also good for black and white. Here's the same shot with a black and white yet Sabatier effect applied to it. And one last one. If you remember the Bird of Paradise orb we created in the previous video, here it is with the Sabatier effect applied. Rather nice, I think. Okay, let's get rid of all of this and proceed with the tutorial. We don't need any of this. No, I don't want to change that. Okay, let's open up a file. Just who happens I have a couple lined up here. And we'll start with another locally famous icon. The Fighting Stallions at the entrance to Brook Green Gardens. Not necessarily the best photograph you've ever seen, but not bad. Here we go. This is the basic method of applying the Sabatier effect. First off, as with most anything that we do, we will duplicate the layer. Next we want to add a new fill layer. We'll do that by going to layer, come down to new layer, or new fill layer, and we'll pick solid color. And then we want to change the mode to difference. So just click the little arrow, we'll drop down to the selection that says difference, and then we'll click OK. Now for the fun part. When the color picker opens, just click around and you'll get some weird and wonderful effects. Don't worry too much if you don't like what you see. You can go back and adjust it later. But let me give you a hint that black does nothing. You always see the black at the bottom of the color picker as it is right now. And you can tell that it, since black is selected in the color picker now, there has been no change to our image. So let's just pick around and we'll put one here. Oh, okay, that's fine. Let's look up here. You can see as you move throughout the color picker you get different effects. And Again, the closer you get to the black the less the effect is. You can also change the effects by using the slider to change the color, the basic colors, and then pick around as you might like to do. And just for sake of example, let's say that we're satisfied with what we have now. So we'll click OK. And then, since the difference mode tends to compress the total tonal range, we want one more layer. We'll go to layer, we want new adjustment layer, 
and we'll go to levels. We'll leave the mode as normal, so click OK, and we'll adjust the sliders to our particular taste. Let's just see what happens as we adjust some of these. You see that brightens things up just a little bit there. We go here, the midtones, and the darks. We can even play with the output levels a little bit if we like. And let's just leave it like we have it now. Once we're done, click your little X. And you can always go back and adjust the color picker or adjust the levels. That's the basic method. But you can experiment with more color fill, gradient, pattern layers, with the blend mode set to difference. The possibilities are endless and the results are unpredictable. Let's do one more just so you can see again how we go through this. We'll open up a different selection this time. Just a little water lily again, nothing, nothing special about it. Copy our, or uh, duplicate our layer, our background layer, add a new fill layer, layer, new fill layer, solid color, change the mode to difference, click OK, and just pick around until you get the effect that you want. see how it changes let's just leave it right here for example purposes we'll click OK again we want a layer new adjustment layer levels leave it at normal so we click OK and then we can adjust our sliders to make it look like we want it to. Once we're satisfied, click our X, and there we have our water lily with the saboteur effect applied. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy trying the saboteur on some of your own images. And if you want to email them to me so I can take a look, I'd be glad to do that. Thank you very much. This concludes this particular presentation.